Hello, good day everyone. This is Teacher Maria Cristina Mariola, your today's facilitator. I am going to discuss with you how to multiply two different binomials using the FOIL method. What does the FOIL mean? F means the two first terms of the given binomial. O means the two outer terms. I means the inner terms. And L means the last terms. Here are the steps. Step 1. Identify the FOIL terms. Step 2. Find their products. And step 3. Combine similar terms. Let us try the first example. For step 1, we need to identify the FOIL terms. In x plus 6 multiplied by x plus 5. So the first terms are x and x. And the outer terms are x and 5. The i or the inner terms are 6 and x. And the last terms are 6 and 5. And now let us proceed to step 2, which is Find the products. For the product of the first terms, we have x squared. Then the product of the outer terms is 5x. And for the product of the inner terms is 6x. And the product of the last terms is 30. And now, let us proceed to the last step, which is combine two similar middle terms. We need to combine similar terms. The two middle terms are similar. So, combining them, we have 5x and 6x. Since they are both positive, the sum is 11x. So, therefore, the final product is x squared plus 11x plus 30. Okay, let us try another example. Find the product of 2y plus 4 multiplied by 3y minus 10. And of course, we need to identify first the FOIL terms. For the first terms, we have 2y and 3y. For the outer terms, we have 2y and negative 10. Do not forget the negative sign. And for the i, we have 4 times 3y. And for the last terms, we have 4 times negative 10. Okay, let us proceed to the second step. Find their products. Diba, bago muna natin kunin ang mga products, mas maganda na ilist down muna natin ang mga FOIL terms para naiiwasan nating magkamali. I-double check ang mga sign ng terms. So, for the first terms, we have 2y times 3y. What is the product? The product is 6y square. And the product of the outer terms, 2y times negative 10, is equal to negative 21. The product of the i or the inner terms, 4 times 3y is 12y and the product of the last terms 4 times negative 10 is equal to negative 40. So be careful with the signs. You apply the rules in multiplying signed numbers. And now the last step is combine the two similar middle terms. 
Again, what are the two similar middle terms? We have negative 20y and 12y. Are we going to subtract or are we going to add? So, applying the rules in signed numbers, if they have different signs, what are you going to do? We need to subtract. So, 20 minus 12 is equal to 8. And since 20 is greater than 12 and 20 is negative, so we need to follow the negative sign. So, we have negative 8y. So, be careful class kasi panagkamali ka ng isang sign sa product, then considered wrong na lahat ang sagot mo. So, therefore, the final product is 6y square minus 8y minus 40. Oh, again, wag malilito class dahil dito, we apply the rules in multiplication of integers. And then, same signs, we have positive product, different signs, negative product. Pero dito naman, sa baba, yung pag-combine ng similar terms, we apply the rules of addition. And that is, same sign add, and unlike signs, subtract. Then, copy the sign of the greater number. Okay, let us take the last example. Multiply 5a minus 3 and 2a minus 1. So, taking the first step, identifying the foil terms, we have for f, 5a and 2a. For o, we have 5a and negative 1. Then i, we have negative 3 and 2a. And for l, we have negative 3 and negative 1. So, take note that 3 is negative and 1 is also negative. Okay, let us proceed to step 2, which is find the products. What is the product of the first terms? 5a and 2a gives us 10a squared. And what is the product of the outer terms, 5a and negative 1? Since they have unlike signs, we will get negative product. And that is negative 5a. The same way with the inner terms, the product of negative 3 and 2a is negative 6a. How about the product of the last terms, negative 3 and negative 1? Since they have like signs, like signs give us a positive product. So, we have positive 3. And then, the last step, which is combining the two similar middle terms. So, since we have negative 5a and negative 6a as the two similar middle terms, what are you going to do with negative 5 and negative 6 since they are both negative. Are you going to add or are you going to subtract? Okay? So, since they are, they are both uh, negative, we need to add them. So, we have neg negative 11a. So, therefore, the final answer would be 10a square minus 11a plus 3. And now, if you do not have any questions with regards to multiplying two different binomials, we are going to apply this to a problem solving. So, we are going to follow the same rule. For example, number one, Eunice has a vacation house in Tagaytay. What is the area of the rectangular floor of her house if the length is 2x plus 6 meters? And the width is 3x minus 10 meters. Class, if you have the knock to C relationship between symbols, then it would be easier for you to solve problems. What are the given facts in the problem? So, we have the length and we have the width. What's the length? 2x plus 6 meters. And what is the width? 3x minus 10 meters. And then what is asked in the problem? We are looking for the area. 
the area of the rectangular floor of the house. So, if we are going to recall the formula to be used in finding the area of a rectangle, we have area equals length times width. So, the solution therefore, magaya nung kanina, 2x plus 6 multiplied by 3x minus 10. The first step is uh, identifying the FOIL terms. And then the next step is finding the products. And then the last step is combining the two similar middle terms. We have negative 20x and 18x. Are we going to subtract this or are we going to add? So that is the first thing to do. You need to decide. Are you going to add or are you going to subtract? So, negative 20x and 18x gives us negative 2x. So, therefore, the final answer would be 6x square minus 2x minus 60. And do not forget to include the unit. So, we have m for the length and m for the width multiplying m times m gives us m square. Magkakamali kayo kapag hindi nyo nilagay yung appropriate unit to be used. Okay? Okay, another problem. Number two. Duane owns a rectangular swimming pool whose dimensions are 7a minus 9 centimeter and 2a plus 6 centimeter. Help him find the area. Okay, what are the given facts? So, when we say dimensions, these are the length and the width. So, the length is 7a minus 9 centimeter and the width is 2a plus 6 centimeter. And then, what is us? We are looking for the area of the rectangle. So, the same formula with the number 1. We have A is equal to L times W. So, following the same procedure, 7A minus 9 multiplied by 2A plus 6. The F, the O, and the I, and the L. So, this is the FOIL method. Okay? And then, we have the products. And then, combining the two similar middle terms. And then, we will get the final answer, 14a square plus 24a minus 24 centimeter square. So, this is the area of the rectangular swimming pool of doing. Okay? So, if you do not have any question, uh, self-test or activity will be the next one.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time!